Hey, yo. What is up, YouTube? It's new game time, man. It's new game time. The audio seems really loud. Let's turn that down a tad. We're going to be playing Live Alive. I played the demo for this when it released on... Oh, we definitely want fast text, right? When it released on the eShop, absolutely loved it. And a very generous viewer donated the game to us. So we're going to play through it here exclusively on the YouTube. Probably no stream. Probably. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I think we'll leave. Let's raise voice up to... I usually like to have the voice higher than everything else. But we'll take it to like a 9. What kind of voice effect is that? Uh, not quite. Alright, I do have demo save data that I could import, but I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're going to start from scratch with this game. Got a piping hot cup of coffee here with me. Alright, who do we want to start? Should we start... Should we go in chronological order? I don't even know what chronological order is. Let's start with... Let's start with the distant future. Far from Earth in the vast void of space, the transport freighter Cogito Ergo Sum Nailed it. Slowly makes its way home. Aboard this tiny vessel, a new form of life is born. Alas, as a series of incidents put the safety and well-being of the ship's crew in jeopardy, this autonomous support unit, but recently built by the engineer Kato, must work together with its creators to ensure all is not lost. All right, let's let's do it. I like this little this little uh, whatever it is. It's adorable. It's got glasses and a hat, man. How could you not like that? Robotic enhancements. Some allies do not gain level. How dare you? How dare you? That is a beautiful looking earth. Record of departure. Oh, am I supposed to confirm? Okay. Is a civilian transport freighter. Cargo Xeno biological specimen. Five crew members and one passenger. Who is a military courier. That actually looks kind of good. Oh yeah, I remember in the demo being blown away by how good the graphics looked. Giant, we're carrying a giant quadruped. Very eerie. I remember the music in this game being very good as well. All our crew members here are in uh, cryo sleep, it seems. Well, one person's awake. Orders from command concerning specimen are as follows. Detailed study of specimen is of highest priority. All necessary measures should be taken to ensure delivery. Escort is mandated. Where are we delivering it, I wonder? Your muscles would, if you were in like cryo sleep or, you know, we're watching the ser a series called Another Life on Netflix, whose premise is vaguely similar to this. If you got out of, sl out of cryo sleep after that long, there's no way you're walking, right? Like your bones are so stiff. There, there's no way. The mechanical heart. Into it.
I forget, does the text automatically progress? I think it does, right? The pixel art looks so good. Okay, that should do it. Huh? That's odd. Very odd indeed. I'm certain I did everything right. Oh, it, it worked. It worked. Brilliant. Wonderful. Hello there, little one. Can you hear me? My name is Kato. K A T O. Kato. It's a pleasure to meet you. I love that name. I, uh, right. Of course. You need a name. What's our name? Let's see. Well, you're quite round roundy mm, that's terrible hardly fit for a dog yes well you may be round but mankind's strength is our sense of humor oh yeah i remember Cube. this cube <laughs> that's impressively worse naming was never my forte I'm, I'm fine with cube. will strike as we walk. Come along, little one. Whoa, whoa, come back. Going a little too fast there. The okay, it's talking about the radar. Uh, route to explored area. An unexplored area is gray, and then the current objective. All right. Interesting. Radar can be toggled off or on. If you wish to quit the current chapter and play a different one, access the settings and select return to chapter. It'll resume from your last save. Okay, cool. Is there an option to, this menu screen is so beautiful. And this is coming off of Xenoblade 3, which let's be real, Xenoblade 3 had one of the best menu the, the best menu you are the one of the best UIs for a menu I have ever seen. Like my god. So good. Man, I really wish there was an auto text. But it doesn't seem like there are there are, there is. Is was used to be? Alright. Oh he skates. Or it skates. Holographic photo frame. Oh, I guess that's Kato's family. <laughs> good, good. Follow me. I want every 2D RPG to be remade in this style. Every single one of them. Imagine Chrono Trigger in this style. Oh my god. The first thing we need to do is register you as a crew member. Otherwise, you won't be free to move about the ship. Smash, door comes down. Chapter over. Right then. Ah, yes. Top Hope this morning finds you well. I'd like to enter a new crew member into the system. Understood. Scanning new crewmate. Scan complete. Classification? Autonomous support. Please state designation. Yeah, we're gonna go with cube. I'm good with cube. Creating profile. And with that, you should be able to come and go as you like. Nice. Oh, 
And whatever you do, don't forget your name. Access to private quarters is subject to some perfunctory security restrictions. To enter, you may need to input your name. So, if you're ever having trouble, that's one thing you can try. To do so, access the panel to the left of the door. Do you understand? Or would you like me to repeat myself? Then the next order of business, little one. So to the left of the door, if there's a door we can't get into, to the left of the door, input our name. It's a test of your analytical skills. I'm going to leave this room and head to another area on this floor. I want you to try and find me. Oh, and if you're ever feeling lost, take a moment to review the ship's map. Whoa. That is quite the map. Press the minus button, okay. Oh, there it is. Yeah, ZO, auto advance. Oh my gosh. I wish they had told me that sooner. All right, let's go, let's check some of these unexplored areas. Should we? I don't know if we should, but we're going to. Do some exploring. Dora would be proud. This is where this is where the creature's being held, right? Where are we going, man? That's another elevator. That's the airlock. It seems like in most, you know, sci-fi shows and uh, let's just say sci-fi media in general, it's pretty agreed upon that you have to have something like an airlock, right? Doesn't seem like our imaginations have come up with a better design. Can't access this. Guess let's go up to level three and then we'll go back to level two. Very excited to get into this. I love the graphical style and I, I, I've heard nothing but good good things about this game. I'll be honest, I'm kind of just looking for treasure chest. <gasps> what is that? Is that me? Why is there another me? Thought it was unique. One of a kind, one might say. Okay. I guess, uh, I guess we're not allowed in. I tried the panel, but the panel does not like us. Doesn't think we are authorized enough to be there. Oh, this is the bridge. Let me just drive this ship right into the sun. Whoa. Uh-oh. What have I done? All right, let's go back down to level two and continue on with the story. We'll also be playing through Blossom Tales soon. I have uh, YouTube videos scheduled out through September already of us finishing up Omori as well as uh, an R another RPG Maker dev diary and there'll, there'll probably be more of those. I remember this room. There's not like a whole lot to do here.
Except I think this there was an arcade game to play. Yeah. All right, let's hit the objective. Uh, but yeah, the, the, there will be more, you know, dev diaries uh, as we work on the game more. I mean, right now, you know, we have this to play and there's a lot going on in Destiny 2 that I am really, really enjoying. Um, as well as Blossom Tales and, I, you know, we're, I'm still working on concepts and stuff for the game on the side, writing character bios and stuff like you that. It. Now it's time for you to meet your fellow crew members. Through this door, you'll find the cryogenic stasis pods. We use them to put humans into cold sleep to preserve resources during long trips into space. Little one, I have a very important job for you. I want you to head inside and wake up your new friends. You can do it. Oh, absolutely. I definitely want them to see me the first thing they see when they wake up is an alien some sort of alien robot that's what that's what we want to do oh, oh he does not want to talk to us I guess everybody's still kind of waking up, huh? Oh no. The helmsman. You are my leader. Thank you, little one. I appreciate the help. Good morning, my friends. Finished your pet project? Indeed. They have even taken a name for themselves. Hello, my name is Rachel. Looking forward to working with you. Nice to meet you, buddy. Name's Kirk. That voice actor sounds very familiar. <clears throat> Rise and shine, Huey. We've been on ice long enough. Show us what you've got. Mind giving Sleeping Beauty here a swift kick to get him up and moving? Kick him. <laughs> kick him with your rollerblades. Gook, you dingus. I'll thank you again for not kicking a blissfully sleeping man's pillow. I'm sure we had this conversation before. What the? What is that thing? Easy there, Huey. We're still coming out of cryo. As for the new addition, that Bakato's been working on forever. Huh? Oh. Bot. Gato's bot. Right. That project of his. He got it up and running. <clears throat> Hello there. I'm Huey. Corporal Darth, 
Feeling well rested? Hardly. If anyone actually feels better coming out of cryo, I've yet to meet them. Guess what, Corporal? Cardo finally finished the bot he was working on. Let's introduce you. <laughs> Never mind that. Let's dispense with the formalities. Tell me, though. Do you intend to let your clank have the run of the ship? If so, then I expect you to see that it does not get underfoot and to discipline it if it does. This guy seems like a dick. If nothing else, then I will go on ahead to the recreation room and prepare for the briefing. <laughs> guy was just like, yeah, man, live your best life. I, I, I won't stand in the way. <laughs> It's a military man for you. All business. Real piece of work, huh? Right, of course. The customary briefing after waking the crew. You should join us in the recreation room too. Don't worry about the corporal. He'll warm to you in due time. I don't know, man. He didn't seem <laughs> super nice. You actually see it as one of us. But I suppose that's just your way. Oh. Do you think so? Don't mind me, I'm just rollerblading along here. It loads so fast, I can't ever read the tips, man. You can get like the first sentence, maybe second sentence. This retro game is my latest obsession. I love it. I wanna play, dude. Damn straight. You want to give it a go? Oh, yes, please. Captain Square. Oh, this is like a battle tutorial. This battle system is pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory, I feel like. You can save your progress and resume from the last stage. Interesting. The damage massive. So let's go up here. Choose cork sword. Name of that attack? It just looked like a bunch of gibberish. Critical. Wow. Nice. 
I really like this battle system. I think it's really interesting. Again? I guess he lowered my speed or something. No. Oh no! You cheated. You freaking cheated. <laughs> Not cut out for it after all, huh? Let me give you some advice. You can't always be aggressive. Pay attention to your enemies and how their attacks work. Hmm? Oh, you must be interested in my book. Would you like to read it? Is he going to read it to us or? The dawn of the space age. It was written by humans long, long ago. I've always enjoyed these older stories. They have an earnestness, an adventurous spirit that speaks to me. <laughs> Says the guy who's practically terrified of his own shadow. <sighs> it must sound strange to you, seeing as how you were born on this ship, so to speak. I think you should learn as much as you can. Expand your horizons. Take a look around the ship and see if anything interests you. Don't well, that giant creature does. Either. Experiment. Try to do things on your own. Gato, does this bot of yours have any unique abilities or talents? Well, no. Not as such. Uh, but they do have the capacity to process data and develop skills. Such as... Ah, why don't I teach you how to prepare coffee? I mean, I do like coffee. Come with me, little one. I'll show you how to use the machine. Oh, just push the button. Okay. Oh, I could have done that, man. What do you mean, show me how to use it? You could have just said push the button. Mind if I have a taste? I don't know, is it gonna be bad? It's their first cup. All I did was press a button, man. I must have the wrong settings. Would you like to read? Hmm? Oh, you would you like oh, to Oh no. Read? Oh, what was that for? Don't Unnecessary. Please. Th there's no need to get so upset. You people have no idea what these things are capable of. But I do. I've seen it. Uh, I don't know about any of that. But I'm sure it's got nothing to do with this one. <laughs> that arcade jam is just going wild in the background. Hey, it's the captain. I apologize for keeping you all waiting. Matters with our contacts on Earth demanded my full attention. So, what is the status of our crew? Everyone is present and accounted for, sir. Good. 
Wait. What is that thing over there? Ah, that would be the robot I've been working on, sir. Fully operational, I see. You'll have to permit me a closer look later. Right then. Everything appears to be in order, so... That will be all. What? What do you mean? We need some direction, man. Hell of a briefing, huh? Spent most of the time gaming and waiting for it to begin and end just like that. You say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Oh, Kato, if you want to get a look, come down to the cargo hold. At the behemoth? Of course, that would be wonderful. Ah, but first I need to perform a brief inspection of the main computer. I'll head downstairs afterwards. Ah, you must be wondering. This is a transport freighter, and as usual, we've been tasked with making a delivery. Anyway, if you like, you can use the elevator to come and join me. The main computer is on level three, and the cargo hold is on level one. Yeah, I want to go look at the cargo hold. So I wonder, are we transporting the beast or are we transporting me? Let's go check out the behemoth. You, oh my god. It, it, that one even said like what to do, want, you know, to reread tutorials, and I couldn't even read that one. What a shame. Go see this big nasty. Wow. It's magnificent. Isn't it? Kirk wasn't even interested in taking a look. He seemed almost offended at the suggestion. It's in our nature, I fear. The tendency to be unwilling or unable to acknowledge the other. The other? What does that mean? Kirk is who he is, and I respect that, but... I don't think I'll ever be at ease with people like him. Strong, bold men. Men who conquered space and paved the way for others to follow. It's not just Kirk, though. Lately, I've been struggling to relate to Rachel, too. Maybe it's just me. You and Kirk are complete opposites, yet you seem to get along well enough. <sighs> Is that you, little one? Come inside and take a look. Whoa. This is the- It looks so majestic. Beautiful, don't you think? It is rather beautiful. So long as you admire it from a distance, even the most exquisite rose handled without care will bleed you with its thorns. And this particular rose has two massive ones, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> Do you mean, uh, testicles? <laughs> hey, can you two come to the bridge? Something wrong? Got some comms trouble by the look of it. I could use a hand here. Double time, Huey. Warp speed. Look all you like. I don't care. But do remember that this is military property. My responsibility. And I do not take it lightly. The creature is military yes. property? Of course. That's not good. We were just leaving, actually. 
wonder if we're going to like drop it on a planet to do damage. Outside the cargo hold, I need you to check for me. Understood. You again. I better not catch you fiddling with that console. What are you going to do? I'm fiddling with it right now. F your rules. It's pretty wild looking. All right, I guess. I guess we want to go up to floor three to the bridge. Oh. To the bridge. Weird that there's no music in this section. I find that a little strange. I was going to say, are you going to let me go on the elevator? Level three, please. Man, the visuals are so good. This area feels really enclosed though, which I'm not a fan of. Like all the sections of the map feel so small. And you checked the sub antennas? I did, and they're fine. It's a Watanabe hypercaster, made in Japan and everything. The main and subunits are designed to function independently, so one going down shouldn't necessarily affect the other. Just peachy. Receiving in tra inbound transmissions without issue, but outbound transmissions are another story. Interesting. What did the captain have to say? Continue your investigation and... What? No, I didn't. What did the captain have to say? Continue your investigation and get back to me when you have more information. We'll settle on a plan then. Hmm. Okay. Do we do this? And you checked the sub antennas. I did, and it's a Watanabe. The main and sub unit. And you checked the. I did. Uh -oh. It's a what? The main and sub. I did. Oh, let's just talk to Kirk. <laughs> Wait and see, huh? The whole system could fail before he's ready to take action. What a horrible thought. The system has already effectively failed if we can only receive transmissions from Earth. As it stands, we can no longer exchange information with them. We can only hope they have surmised our situation from our silence. <sighs> Sounds like an excuse to do nothing. I'm heading outside to perform an on-site inspection of the array. Something probably came loose or got knocked out of position. Should be easy to fix once I get a good look at it. This sounds like a terrible idea. But I mean, I guess they don't really have any option. There's no talking him out of it now. So we may as well try and back him up. Are you up for a spacewalk, Kato? Yes, of course. Guys, don't do it. Rachel, like you're gonna to die out the there. To assist with preparations. I'll come back afterwards so we can monitor from the bridge. Alright, well, 
Let's go check it out. Is it floor two, right? It's level two. Isn't that where we saw the airlock? Apparently not. Maybe level one. Save me level one. This thing kind of looks like a face. Like here's an eyeball, here's an eyeball, here's a nose, and this whole bottom part's the mouth. Like a, like a sad face. Stop it, please. This is neither the time nor place. What are they fighting for? You and your holier than thou attitude. <sighs> Stay out of it, bot. Dude, this robot needs to mess you somebody up. Him. Losing your temper, hurting others. <laughs> Got it all figured out, huh? Your problem is you can't take a joke. Always so damn serious. You're exhausting. It's a miracle Rachel humored you as long as she did. We're leaving. Try not to get sucked out the hatch when we go. Be a real shame that... What a right. douche. Oh no, Kato's going with him. My only friend on board. Well, I guess the other guy's my friend too. Those are some creepy looking suits. They look like an enemy from another RPG I played. Maybe Chrono Trigger? There's some enemies that look similar to that. Why are his little wings or arms? What are they? They're just a flapping away. Something is going to go horribly awry. I don't like this. I don't like this plan. Making me uncomfortable. I'm sorry you had to see that. People are a bit more complicated than machines, don't you think? So is like Kirk dating Rachel now, and that's why that guy's all upset. We're probably supposed to go back up to the bridge, huh? Is this a bit of a love triangle? Is that is that what the issue is? They seem to be fighting for no reason. Run button, or am I running automatically? Rachel, they're in position. Understood. All right, let's get this show on the road.
commence I, I don't get to sit down? Carto, you need to access the administrator controls. Switch the system to maintenance mode. Inputting code. Whiskey Alpha Tango Alpha November Alpha Bravo. Uh, What's a knob? Kirk? Kirk, do you copy? Loud and clear. Everything's fine. Huh? I... I can't... Oh, no. Well, there goes Kirk. Kirk! What's happening? Kirk? Kirk, respond! Someone talk to me! I've got him! But there's something wrong with his suit! We're coming in! Oh, he's dead, dude. I'll prep the med bay and meet them at the airlock. I'm coming too. I have it under control, Rachel. Knew this was gonna happen, man. I'm sure Kirk is fine. He's as tough as they come. Stop it, just stop it. I need to be there for him. Yeah, this is definitely a love triangle situation, it seems like. Kinda weird. Med bay, is that uh, probably level two, right? I don't know what's where. Oh, that's right. We have a map. Oh, this is four three. Okay. Four two is the medical bay. All right. Oh, but no, but the, but the, but no. Oh, man. I pressed the wrong button. I almost did it again. The scenery is so beautiful. It's finally music now, but it's very creepy. skin's a different color Oh, oh my God. Oh, Kirk's gone, dude. Trying to bring him back to life, but uh, they're not having much luck. Wow. Just like that. Where's the captain? Hey. Ah, yes. Right. I'll go and get him. Go and get him. Where has he been this whole time? Oh, I went the wrong way. What? I just saw him go out this door, man. Oh, are we, are we going in here? This doesn't seem like a good idea. 
This dude already doesn't like us. We're about to go in here with this dead guy. Oh no, oh, no. So, this accident was the result of a defective life support system. A preventable death caused by negligence. Whose responsibility was it to check it? You're wrong. I triple checked the suits beforehand. It shouldn't have been possible for it to just up and fail like that. Is that so? Then perhaps we must consider the possibility that it was not an accident, but the intended outcome. Oh was no. That an explosion. I sure hope not. Where's the captain? Why isn't he here? Well, I, I, I'm not quite sure. I tried repeatedly to contact him, but, but he wouldn't respond. What's wrong with you people? What kind of ship are you running here? Right now, we need to find out what that explosion was. Then I will go and check on my cargo. This guy, man. Look after Rachel, little one. She needs the company. Now more than ever. If well, I don't want to sit here. You can find me on the bridge. Come on, man. Man, Rachel, I'm sorry that sucks. See ya. Should we at least talk to her? Well, and now we've already been cleansed, so good luck, Rachel. It's all, it's, it's all, you know, it's a cycle of life and, you know, stuff. Good luck. Level three. Should we go down to level one to check on the guy and his cargo? I feel like I want to do that. Yeah, let's do that. Should have thought through that before I clicked the button. Riding on the face. Riding. On oh wait. I could be taken out the wrong way. Get your mind out of the gutter. Is it down here? Is down here and isn't there also like a copy of me down here somewhere oh no that is the elevator the very powerful individuals believe this specimen to be worth a fortune an invaluable piece in the Great game of nations. Oh, well. I wonder why, you know, our ship was exploded. Let's go up to the bridge. To the bridge. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. That's, that's the only part of the song I know. All right, let's figure out what's going on. Everything appears to be operating within normal parameters. I, I don't understand. The main antenna, it's... It's gone. Because of the explosion just now? What is happening, man? We're being sabotaged. <sighs> disaster after disaster. At this rate, I'd be better off climbing into an escape pod and trying for Earth on my own. Do it. Nobody's stopping you. 
bad attitude out of here. Oh, am I supposed to make a coffee? What a nice little robot. Thank you. You're welcome. Right. Get yourself together. Captain! It's about time. Sir, are you still in your quarters? Well, anyway, there's been an accident. And Kirk? I'm afraid Kirk is dead. What? Really? That He doesn't that's sound shocked at all. Like, what? Merits an no way. Response. He will be dearly missed. See to the preparations. I will make sure to attend. Wait, Captain. Dude, what is up with this captain? Your captain is a man of remarkable composure. He remains calm and collected, even after being told one of his crew has died tragically. <sighs> Why is the captain not on the ship? I don't understand. It's kind of weird. To attend to. A little I sus, man. <sighs> I suppose I could go and look around in Kirk's quarters. See if he had any prized possessions. Something to. Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. Oh well. That's thoughtful of you. By all means, please. Do you think maybe Huey is not the kind person he seems to be? Alright, well you know what? I think that seems to be a great time to go ahead and end it. Let's see, okay, here's the save menu. I was looking for that. So, Kirk's dead. Kirk's dead right off the bat, man. We're already level 7. We haven't even really done anything. <laughs> Kirk's definitely dead. So, next time we will continue on with this. We're probably just going to go chapter by chapter until we finish each one. If you'd like to support me, please stop by the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash runthemc. A like on this video would be great if you liked it, and a subscription would be awesome. We're doing Live Alive right now. We just finished Amori. Uh, we also have the RPG Maker Dev Diaries, where we go over the content, concepts, you know, the, the entire process of the game that I'm making. Uh, I do a little bit of it on my own time, but a, a lot of it will be in those Dev Diaries. Uh, it's a game where I'm challenging myself to make an RTP only game, which is of assets that are included with the engine. We want to make just a banger of a game with just the default assets. We also have Blossom Tales coming up on the channel soon as well. Now that Amori's over, I can start creating those videos and get those out to you all. So until next time, YouTube, bye.